Good morning, everyone. Hope you're off to a fantastic hump day. Wednesday, May 1st, International Workers' Day, which kind of brings me around to today's topic news video, and that is, once more, Korea's Assembly is set to discuss Korea's planned alternative holiday bill. Now, this was first introduced in 2009 and has stalled time and time again, and it is currently stalled because of opposition from business leaders, and it's set to be taken up once more in the September discussions. So what exactly is the alternative holiday bill? Well, you need to put this into perspective. Uh, it wasn't until 2004 that Korea moved to a five-day work week, and at the same time, they reduced the number of working hours from 44 to 40. Now, currently, Korea is the number one country in the OECD, uh, working an average of 2,090 hours per year, and that's significantly higher than the average, which is 1776, and even higher than the United States, which is 2040. So this particular bill, which if passed would take effect in 2015, would specify that if a public holiday falls on a Sunday, it would then be celebrated and observed on a Monday. And over the next decade, it would mean that an extra one to three days of holiday observance would be celebrated each year. Now, 94% of workers are strongly in favor of this bill passing because, as I mentioned, Korea, the workers are the most worked in the economically developed countries around the world. Businesses say that it would provide too much of a hardship because they would lose production, they would have to outsource more of their work because they would have to provide more holidays. Now, the Tourism Commission here in Korea says that passing this bill would be a good thing because it would promote more domestic travel and also invite others in because you have more holidays. People can take that long weekend. So, what do you think? Uh, I found it interesting to note that in Australia they believe that there are too many holidays and they're actually thinking about capping the number of holidays. Uh, the United States, when I worked there, had an average of nine or ten holidays depending on how you counted, say, like Columbus Day and Veterans Day. Uh, here in Korea, we do have 15 public holidays. Uh, today, May 1st, is not quite an official holiday. Banks are closed, but schools and other businesses are open. But what do you think? Do you think it is a good idea to have observed holidays f that fall on the weekend take place on a Monday or Friday? Personally, I think it's a great idea. For example, this weekend, May 5th, is Children's Day, a day when people can actually get together and spend time with their kids, but it falls on a Sunday. So you doesn't really fall into the grand scheme of things. It's really not a holiday in the sense that the day is extra special. Having that day celebrated on a Monday would then allow families to spend more time together and really take home the meaning of that day. So, what do you think? Are you in favor of this quote-unquote alternative measure in celebrating days, uh, holidays that fall on the weekend on a weekday? Let me know your thoughts down below. Until next time, remember to be true to yourself and always be awesome.